If maths wasn't your best subject at school, trying to help your child can be nerve-wracking. So here's some advice from experienced teachers. The way that we teach mathematics is different these days. But the focus now is not on the right answer, it's more on the strategies you're using to work that out. The strategies might look different, but in actual fact the process and the answer is still the same. We teach for understanding in maths now. There's a lot of what we as children would have learnt, just wrote, learnt how to do things, how to do addition was just and subtraction was just purely rote, often without understanding. Whereas a lot of the parents would be used to doing sums where you write one number on top of the other, add or subtract. We're, we don't focus a lot on that until the children are probably in year four. Before that we really focus on them working it out in their head using mental strategies to work it out. For example, if you were given a number sentence 32 plus 12, instead of writing those one on top of the other and adding them, you would start with 32, you'd add on 10 to give 42 and then add another two on. So it's teaching children to be able to do it without pen and paper and to be able to really understand numbers and how they work. There's more than one way to get to the right answer and we help children figure out the best way that makes sense to them to get to that answer. We constantly encourage children to work things out in more than one way as a way of checking their accuracy. So it will surprise you what they can do using number lines to help them count the ruler. They can use the ruler to help them jump along and count. Now we're finding that children learn better, especially with maths, with the hands-on activities. It's more group activities, problem-solving tasks in all the areas of maths, every maths area, not just sitting down doing 100 algebra questions in an hour. It's very different. Parents can help at home, um, things like homework, they could be showing the relevance between you know, what we're doing in our maths homework to um, things like budgeting, their pocket money, um, what they're going to spend their money on, timetabling, what, what they've got on on the weekend. They can certainly help us in, in showing the relevance of what we're doing in class to what they need in their, in their home life. I would also say that as hard as it is, don't jump in and tell them the answer or how to do it exactly. Okay, good phrases to use would be, well how do you think we could go about working that out? What would you do if you were in school? The key thing to helping a student in mathematics is to find out where the problem is. Talk to them about what's the problem asking you and then, okay, what strategy could you use? So do you need to use addition? Do you need to use division? Do you need to use multiplication? Because mathematics is modulised, in, in other words, we have units that we learn, they're like little bricks I suppose. If you can find out which brick is a bit loose and then straighten it up, then you can build on that. Maths is a very learnable subject and if you take it step by step, um, people can experience success in it. If children can learn the times tables before they get into year seven, that makes an enormous difference. If they're confident with their times tables, they're a lot more confident with um, numbers and mathematics in general. I find that when children get into my classroom, sometimes they're already, they've picked up what their parents do and don't feel confident about. Parents need to be positive about mathematics with their kids and even if they struggled with it at home themselves, they need to maintain a positive attitude in front of their kids and not make excuses for their kids. I was bad at maths at school. Um, so that's probably why you're bad at maths at school. So for a parent to say to a child, I was poor at maths, it's probably the worst thing that can happen because that gives the child the green light not to try themselves. Best to say, I tried. If you get frustrated, try to um, keep it in and um, just move on to the next question. So I tell parents not to be afraid of maths because we're using it a lot every day and we use it in very natural situations. What I generally tell parents though is if your kid is having a little problem in their homework, just write the teacher a short note. Most teachers will find time to sit down then and revise that concept with the student until they can properly understand it. Basically, all teachers are there to teach the children and, and they don't feel successful either if the child doesn't know the concept. 
and you'll also find lots more fact sheets, videos and articles about helping your child with maths and homework at schoolatoz.com.au.